globally. Rice cultivation is the third largest source of non-CO2 greenhouse gas emissions in agriculture. Despite its high mitigation potential, climate financing in rice is still not on a par with other sectors. What is IRI doing to realize this potential in rice? We develop transparent, multi-purpose MRV systems that are publicly available, no cost, and open source, so governments, public, and private sector can all benefit. These can support Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 emission calculations, and we're constantly doing research and development to improve this heritage. MRV systems can be used for collecting data to understand what's happening on the farm in either real time or near real time. So we have apps and we have websites that can support the data collection process. And then these are stored in databases where we can verify the emissions on farm as well as emission reduction. It's important to collect the data for monitoring, reporting, and verification of emissions and emission reduction so that we can track progress towards nationally determined contributions, as well as we can also certify emission reduction, which enables climate finance and carbon credits for the agriculture sector. In my work, together with colleagues, we conduct uh, farmer surveys and we evaluate the cost of production of rice using different technologies, including those technologies which help reduce methane emissions, for example, alternate wetting and drying technology. And based on these surveys and other information coming from remote sensing, from suitability mapping, uh, we conduct a large-scale analysis of investment needs for uh, uh, achieving methane reductions in rice. So basically, we combine farm-level data with system-level data on transaction costs for uh, uh, transitioning to low-emission sustainable rice, and based on that, come up with idea how much funding is needed to transition to this low-emission rice, and uh, what would be the returns for investors, but most importantly to farmers. One of the important objectives that we are pursuing to make this carbon farming, uh, carbon markets profitable for farmers. Yeah, we have about uh, uh, innovative model rice straw based in circular economy. Basically, it's uh, removing rice straw if we remove uh, rice straw from the field. So we re reduce uh, significantly, reduce greenhouse gas reserve for, from the field. Then remove rice straw using more mushroom production and uh, substrate after mushroom production used for composting to, to produce our fertilizer compost oh. and that one going back to the field. So together this, uh, we have uh, some business model is uh, the farmers can get the ethic value about 10 to 20 percent compared with the uh, current or uh, the traditional practice without the uh, rice crop is a second equipment and uh, especially if it is a greenhouse gas mission about 30% if we apply uh, rice, rice products, such like economy. Through next generation R&D solutions and investment analysis, ERI is able to help public and private sector partners transition to a viable, evidence-based path toward low-emission rice-based farming systems. Visit ghgmitigation.eerie.org to learn more about our work.